that that would make Lawler the uh, world heavyweight champion. Well, it's real confusing to everybody except Ric Flair. I went back and talked to him, and he said, what's the big deal? He said, show me the contract for today's title match, and I'll produce the belt. So without his word, it wasn't a title match. So he said, we had to have a contract. We didn't have a contract. He hey, is right here. Just a minute, brother. Produce a contract. Well, show me a contract against that I wrote for the world championship. Show it to me. You're a big deal in this town. You're a big man. Show me a contract. You know why I don't like this? You think you're talking to some country hick? I can sit on me right now. You're talking to a world champion, well, brother. Took you for your word. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Thank you for this, brother. You will never see the day that I wrestle Jerry Lawler. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Don't crowd me. Get in here, big man. This seems to be the only man in the whole town that I can look in the eye and believe. You understand what I'm telling you? He's like me. He likes nice clothes. He likes the good laugh. He likes the soft touch of a pretty woman. And he likes money. So let me show you something, brother. Don't you walk away either. I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire, Eddie Marlin. I'm a multi-millionaire, too. Just a bit of partner. I presume, then, that officially means that the title did not change hands. It was no title match. Who's wasting it around? You know damn well it didn't change hands. Okay. It's on the waist of the world champion, brother. All right. Well, you you know, I want to tell you something. I came out here out of the goodness of my heart. I flew my little jet in here out of the goodness of my heart. And you country bumpkins, you rednecks, tried to put something over on Mr. Cool. No way, Daddy. Not today, anyway. What's the day? What is happening here? We, uh... Hey. Don't you worry. Man, I turn around and I'll tell you what's happening. Well, in case you just joined us, this is the world heavyweight champ, uh, Rick Flair, who uh, has called this meeting uh, with Jimmy Hart out here. Now, all right. My personal check. And, brother, if you don't think this is as good as gold, call anywhere in the country. Anywhere. I got more money and more banks around the United States than any man alive. $10,000. You know what this is for? Because I want you to bring me the blood and the sweat and the guts of Jerry Lawler. And you, for trying to intimidate me, for trying to pull something off, are going to have to watch the slow destruction of your big time hero. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire. You don't. Yeah, well, take this and take this. It's my word. $10,000, brother. I'll sign the check the day you deliver to me a piece of Jerry Lawler. I don't care whether you wrap it up, whether you put it in a box. I don't care. I want to hear that Lawler's got a broken leg. I want to hear he's got a broken arm. I want to hear he's got a broken neck. I want to hear Jerry Lawler is no longer a professional wrestler. And I'll tell you what, Daddy, because you're the man you are, that 10000 it's just openers. Now you, Mr. Russell, I complimented you. I said you were a real man. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I can't help but believe deep down inside you didn't have something to do with this. And because you think Jerry Lawler is a big deal, you're gonna have the privilege of watching this too. Because we're gonna bring in men from all over the world. And so keep your mouth shut, brother, when I'm talking. Uh, and Jerry Lawler, if you're out there, Remember this, brother, you are going to belong to me as a present from this man right here. Let me say one thing, baby. For $10,000, he might not even be alive the time you get back, baby. For ten grand, for ten grand, woo! Yeah, you came to the right one when you went to heart. That's for a fact. Let me tell you something. What comes out of my mouth is as good as gold. Put it in the bank. What I can't go out and get myself, I buy. And I'm buying Jerry Lawler's hide. I'm going to be very polite. Lawler, laugh, joke about this, but remember one thing. You've never come up against Ric Flair. And what I want, I get. You remember it. And you remind these people in Memphis, Tennessee, 
There's only one big daddy, and it's Ric Flair. Okay, well, we heard it from the uh, from the world's champion in a rather unchampionship-like gesture, getting Jimmy Hart out here. He, in fact, did give him a check for $10,000. It's not signed, and he said he will sign it at such appropriate time as he has the evidence that Lawler is not, uh, not wrestling uh, anymore. Uh, we've got more action coming up in the ring, and we're going to get right to it.